These Italian immigrants were actually digging holes on the ground. That's madness. Uh, okay, so Lower East Side is where? We should ask Ali G. He lives in the East Side, doesn't he? He should know. I haven't found your harmonica. I'll be back later on. I'm wondering if we're even at the right station. Wait, there's the map. Oh yes, Lower East Side is that way. Silly me. I wasted my time in Chinatown. Someone else called me as well. I'm so popular in these subways, honestly. No, that's Trinity, Trinity Cemetery. Cemetery? Trinity Cemetery, I'm be I beg your pardon. So, Lower East Side, there it is. Luckily, it goes to Trin Trinity Cemetery. I might have been wandering around there for about half a year. My Aunt Sarah. Now she taught me about life. After I left the orphanage, she was the one person who cared for me. And she loved you. Now when her husband Jimmy Franchetti died, the family forgot about her. Except for the older guys. And me. Yeah, it looks like Aunt Sarah didn't do a very good job of bringing um, Jackie Escicado up. She could have done better. Because he wouldn't have turned out like this. Fucked in the head, literally. So, Aunt Sarah, where is she? Oh, there's Compton Scar somewhere around here. Yeah? Are you him? No, you're not. Sorry. So, Thompson's. Oh. Objective updated. You reached Raspberry Street on the Lower East Side. Aunt Sarah lives here, next to the Olive Green Restaurant. Olive Green Grove Restaurant. I've mixed it up. I can't say that restaurant's name. It's been a while since you've seen her, so let's visit her, shall we? Oh, that's the house. Definitely, I can see from. I can recognise the inside of the house from the outside. So let's ring the doorbell, shall we? They've got posh Italian surnames, yeah. haven't they? Oh, I've been so worried about you. I heard you were gone and I, I feared the worst. You look thin. Have you been eating? You come on inside. Come on. You want some minestrone? Hmm? Oh great, we're going to get some pizza now from our great Aunt Sarah. Or rather just Aunt Sarah. Her home's quite nice though, isn't it? Nice paintings on the wall. So, as I always come into this house, you know, in the last playthrough, I always take a look around before I confront her so I can see if there's any collectibles. I think there might be. Right, I think she's in the kitchen. So, let's take a look in the living room. Let's switch on the TV. Oh my god, it's Gabby. And Max Fle Fleischer. Fletcher, whatever. Right, enough of that. Flash Gordon. So, looking at this house, it's actually weird. It actually reminds me of Alan Wake. Whose house was it again? Oh, Alan Wake's apartment with his wife, Alice. You know, back when in the days when, before he visited Bright Falls, it just reminds me of that. It looks like his home a little bit. I know what's happened, Jackie. And you know how much I've always loved you. You know how I hate it when our family turns against each other like this? Yeah, oh god, excuse me. Wise words from his grandmother. So, let's talk about Jenny. Aunt Sarah. I lost her. And what the hell am I going to do without Jenny? It's terrible. I cleaned out her apartment. She was waiting for you, Jackie. Anyone but you could see it. Oh, you should have taken her away from this place when you had the chance. And now you've got to take care of it. I'm really sorry for the way things came out, Aunt Sarah. Now you know that I never meant any disrespect to you and the family. But I'm going to have to take a stand against Paulie and Eddie Schrote and punish them. 
for what they did. I know. And some of the older men, they'll support your decision, Jackie. But you're gonna have to earn their trust. If you were to hurt Polly's operation, they might consider joining you. They want things back the way they used to be. I'm gonna tear his face off, Aunt Sarah. Part of my language. But I'm gonna rip that dirty little motherfucker's face off and feed his lips to the fucking rats! But I can't kill that little fucking scumbag without your blessing. You know that. Well, kill is such a dirty word. But do what you have to do. And understand that you won't get to Paulie unless you go through his police dog first. The only way to Paulie is through Captain Eddie Schrott. He's a now, police dog. I happen to know he has an apartment up by Gun Hill. And I spoke to Jimmy the Grape, and he's arranged for a man named Abe Hunter to let you into the building. I suggest you go there and take up Jimmy's offer of help while you can. All right, sounds like a good plan. We have to go to Gun, Gun Hill. I love the name of that place. It's a little bit like Hamburger Hill. If you've ever seen that, if you know film, is it Hamburger Hill? I'm not too sure, but yeah. Anyway, I just find it so. Well, he's such a rude guy, this Jackie Sicardo, The way he talks to his Go grandmother. To Hill. Abe Hunter will be waiting for you there. He said you should take the subway to Fulton Street, and that there should be a service entrance down in the Fulton Station that leads to Gun Hill. All right, I think I remember where to go now. From you know. The Fulton Station um, service station, Fulton Street. Ex excuse me. But yeah, thank Aunt. Uh, thank you, Aunt Sarah. You've been a joy to talk to. So that was a result, wasn't it? So back to the subway for now. Gonna meet Abe Hunter, who. He's gonna help us get to those two, two idiots. Where's the subway anyway? I'm sure. I, oh, it's down there. No, it's not. My, my, am I losing my area? No, it's not down there either. The subway's down here somewhere. I think I missed my area. Uh oh, yeah, that's it. That's the subway. So. They have some bizarre names in this game, you know, the areas, the hill, Gun Hill, you name it. It's like I have everything to live for and nothing to gain. I got nothing worth having without you. But at least I got a purpose. And that's tearing Eddie Schrope into a thousand pieces. It's my reason to live. This guy is so filled with revenge, it's unbelievable. Well, any ordinary human being would be going for this kind of revenge. If someone did that to their loved one, they would. Jackie just loves nothing better than good revenge. This guy lives up to the standard of saying phrases like, Revenge is a dish best served cold. Or rather with some hideous meatballs. Right, so a train should be coming around here somewhere. I just want to know which way is it? Fulton Street? Is it this side or is it this side? I don't know. Oh, the next train is going to come. You see, you can see um, from the flash in there. It's going to come here. Lucky I got my Oyster card on me. Now we can go onto the train. Right. Yeah, that's it. That's the right one. He's a bit like me. I always stand up on trains. I never sit down. I don't know why. Suppose I want to sit down next to smelly people. Never sat in the back of a yellow cab, going the wrong way, at 90 miles an hour, through the Midtown Tunnel, with a guy who can't speak a lick of English. My buddy, Crazy Abdul. He keeps on talking about Crazy Abdul in his cutscenes for some reason. Did we actually meet Crazy Abdul, or was he at the start where he's actually driving a taxi? I think it might be. I've really forgotten this ages ago. 
Right, so the service station somewhere around here. I think it's down here. No, it's not. So let's just check. Schrote. Eddie Schrote has a place over at Gun Hill. A man named Abe Hunter has agreed to let you into the building. You can get to um, Gun Hill by using the service door across the train tracks at Fulton Street Station. Alright, okay. So at the moment it's blocking path. Weird woman. Might be to the other side. For some reason my insides are hurting. Oh god. I think I need to burp. I've got some kind of a... I don't know, gas. 